on this lesson, we're gonna keep working on our doodles. So I hope that by now you have a little bit more of an eye for, for identifying the shapes. So we're gonna go a little bit faster because I don't wanna bore you seeing me watching all this again and again. So you can see how here I am just identifying the shapes and our monkeys have hands, maybe uh, kind of like a human. And they may look a little bit different, but they are very similar. And hands are nothing more than a bunch of ellipses, so you can see them like that. But remember that in this case we're not going to be creating a realistic hand, we're just going to be making the shapes. So again, let's do an ellipse for our head, as we have identified on our photo reference. And now two smaller ellipses for the eyes, and now you can see here how our monkey is hairy, so you can make simple curves here that are kind of half ellipses. Now let's go and do the ears. So again, two ellipses on the sides. You can see how the ears are really sticking out from the head. And also have a little bit of an inside. You don't have to do all the detail that, for example, this ear has. Now let's go for the nose. You can see it's kind of a circle. And let's make a, a face. You cannot see it here because this reference is a monkey kind of biting a blanket, but something like that. And again, let's have our cheeks for cuteness. Now you can see the monkeys have this, uh, the mouth a little sticking out a little bit. So to make that difference, we're going to create this line to split our face in two. Now again, let's do an ellipse for the body and ellipse for the belly. Just as the bear, they have a different type of fur there. Now you remember the hands. You don't have to do a very detailed hand. Just make kind of like a rectangle and then finish it with five ellipses. Do something like this. So I'm going to do that on each of the sides to create the hands. So just like this. And for the feet, for the legs, sorry, just simple ellipses. And okay, so let's do a tail. So a tail is just a wiggly line. Then then we can add some thickness. Now you can see on my reference, this is a, like a chimpanzee. And I was doing like kind of a monkey. That's why mine has a tail and the reference doesn't have one. But they're kind of similar, so you could play around with that. Now another thing that you could do is let's just simply select this one, especially if you're working digitally, and just press Alt and Shift to create a copy. And now let's create a monkey by making a different face. So maybe this one has bigger eyes, and instead of having the hair on the top, sorry, on the bottom, maybe have it on the top. Now you remember that they had that uh, divide on the top, make a even bigger nose. And maybe just have the mouth on the side. You don't have to do it as I have been doing on the other examples. And just like that, you have a different monkey. You could um, change the hands a little bit. So let's just make them like this. And you have a different monkey. Of course, it's not completely different, but you get hopefully the idea. So I'm just going to have my monkeys there. And now let's work on our next animal, which is going to be the lion. Now again, hopefully by now you can easily identify the shapes, so I'm not going to be drawing them. So you're going to see that, again, I have an ellipse of a, or a circle as my head. Now I'm going to have my eyes, so two eyes for my lion, little ellipses. Now you can see here that it's a huge uh, reference to a triangle, the nose, but actually it's a little bit more curved, so I'm just going to do like half a circle and then I'm going to have these lines connecting to the top because you can see how here, because the nose is on the front, you can see how that connects to the top of the head. Now again, simple ellipses for cheeks and now you have my hairy mane. So instead of doing all that detail, what I can do is just do curvatures around, making the shape of a circle and have that as my mane. Now I'm going to do the legs, so it's just going to be a rectangle and then an ellipse. 
is gonna look like this. Remember simple shapes. I'm just gonna connect them and then have two ellipses sticking from the bottom. So you can see that I don't draw them complete, but if you were to do it, you could get something like that as, as well as here. And now also a tail. So let's just make a simple line. And as I did with the elephant, you could do whatever shape you want. Here I'm adding a circle because I think that's looking better. And we have our lion doodle. Next, let's work on our tiger. So for our tiger, again, let's just see it and have a a head that is more like a circle ellipse. And the reason why it's more like a circle and an ellipse and not a square maybe is because this is a style that I've been using since the first doodle, so I have to stay consistent because I want them all to look alike, like they're from the same family. And I don't want to be drawing one doodle like super realistic and then the other one super cartoony and then one made out of triangles and the next one made out of circles. You have to keep a consistency because the idea is that you can doodle freely, but that you can also use these doodles for something practical like the different applications that I'm going to teach you on the next lessons. So here, instead of doing the complicated prints that the tiger has, I'm just doing simple ellipses to represent the lines on the tiger. So now for the ears, you can see that they are half circles, just like that. And I'm going to do, I'm going to draw actually a smaller one inside. So that's okay. And now the body is going to be kind of similar to what we did for the, for the lion. So rectangles and ellipses. So actually this one is not looking quite well. Just connect them with a the line and do the two ellipses on the bottom, on the back, sorry. And now the tail is a little bit different from the lion because this one has all the prints there. So let's do a shape like this and just add some lines to replicate the prints on the tiger. Now let's do the same with the body a little bit. And there you go, we have our tiger. So in the next lesson, we're gonna Take our best doodles and transform them into art that you can use on different applications. So see you there.